just doing a little walk around. Figure out everything we're gonna do. Go over a few ideas and go back to the office and draw everything up and get ready to get it done. This is gonna be a full transformation. We're gonna put rock around this um, outdoor shower. Pretty shower here. This home is going up for sale, by the way, so if any of y'all are interested in purchasing this home, it's gonna be beautiful after we do what we do, transform it. We're gonna have a whole bunch of beds. We're gonna create out here and do a walkway all the way around here. Rock all the way around here. Gonna clean all this, this out. Come back here. It's gonna be a design. Back here in this area, we're gonna rip all this brick out. Redesign this whole area, make it a focal point. Cut all these limbs back. Cut all these limbs back. Get all this clean up in here. Get all these limbs cut back off the roof. Straw this area. So we'll make a rock bed that goes around here. Goes around here. It's gonna be another focal point, custom design, porch creek landscaping style. Gonna redesign all this out here. I'll wait for y'all to see it. Porch creek landscaping. Uh -huh. unit so we're just gonna go ahead and take this up real quick it's gonna be a pathway from the shower all the way around here around here all the way to this deck area here it's gonna be nice property and the cleanup is underway Got all the leaves out of here. Palmettos have been trimmed up. Almost all the leaves. A lot of progress. Just getting cleaned up, opening up the area. Pulled bikes and stuff out of here. all the bricks along this patio here. Today's just a full cleanup. Probably today and tomorrow.
One of the things I love about the progress that we make is that even while we're getting all this stuff done and we're not near the end, throughout the whole process, we just keep everything clean. So it looks nice. Every step of the way, it looks nice. The yard's not messed up. We really try to pick up as we go. And that really, that really makes it unrushed and just, you know, every single step, like he spent a lot of extra time in here, making sure everything was level and not just weed eating, but using a shovel by hand to get everything exactly right. That's why we have the turtle. Nothing's rushed. Can't rush perfection, not at all. We're using some of the monkey grass here. We're not wasting whatever we can save that looks really good. Not just saving the plants, but saving the client in the budget. It's always a good thing. When you have a landscaping company come out, you know, especially a project like this, this can go into two weeks long. We don't want you to have to worry about your whole yard being destroyed in the process. You still have to live here, so. I think that's just really important to show how the whole process is really well kept. Completion of day one. Got a lot done in one day. All this is ripped out. This is gonna be rocks. Photocarpus will be along here. That's the monkey grass that we are gonna reuse. All this has been cleaned out. Be back tomorrow. Day two, starting to clean up on the left side of the house. This is the trash bin area. All this is gonna get cleaned out. We're gonna start the design, start structuring that. Coming up with our plan for this side, cleaning all these leaves out. Lots of leaves. Start with the blank slate. Yesterday's work is looking really good this morning. Gonna get this side looking just as nice today. Look, frog. Froggies everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just outline this whole area. This is gonna be gorgeous. So we got the hose here. This is where we're gonna edge, start prepping. The next step will be to make it look like this right here, where we just have dirt. This is the shape that we're gonna go for. It's really gonna make the house feel like it's, it's that much bigger on this side. It's 
really like extending out the living space and it's exciting to see that shape. Very pretty. amazing job here on outlining and laying all this sod beautifully, leveling everything, putting really good topsoil down. And now we're lining this area and get ready to start working over here. Beautiful. Trees have arrived. Sylvester Palms. This is diamond cut right here. Just had them diamond cut today. Got to get these palm trees installed over here at this property. Right here. Diamond cut. Vesta palms. It's unbelievable how much skill really is required to do this. the most beautiful palm trees. It's 
Sylvester palms are actually originally from India. Palm trees are not native to Florida. But we love them. Especially that diamond cut. This is incredible. big enough. All right, he just finished digging it out more. That's an entrance. Oh man. Water hose is on. Soaking the tree. Just got him to set it perfectly. And now we're on to number two. I gotta get some water, it's hot as hell out here. You can see the colors playing off of the front door. That was actually planned out. Every detail is planned out. Color of the rock that's coming in here. Everything, every detail. Gotta dig out for the second one. It's a good thing it's not a windy day. trees loaded up about to take these to the property and line these up for installation they're gonna be beautiful once they're in the ground against the fence <laughs> we're trying to plant these podocarpus to go to dig out the ground and this is what we find 
a huge tree in the ground. <laughs> so we've got to remove this. fabric down we pinned it we had it outlined before if you remember this was all dirt this is that premium fabric none of the weeds are going to be an issue we're going to put rocks in here podocarpus have been installed and shaped up it's going to be fabric all in this area as well it's really starting to have a nice look it's coming together just got our plants some of them spaced out Still kind of creating and coming up with a placement and design plan. And our beautiful trees. Must have watered them 10 times today. And then over here, fabric. Got the borders. Really start to see that beautiful shape. And then today's Saturday, so tomorrow we're going to take a one-day break, come back Monday, have some irrigation done, finish up the fabric here, move on to the next phase. Laying all this fabric, lined up the pathway, the edging, ran out of border, we got to go get some more border. I mean, not border. Yeah, yeah, we got border for the back, but the um, fabric, more fabric over here. Still got to purchase some more flowers, some more plants. This is the next area we're going to be tackling right here today. Took the supports off of our palm trees. Got a nice new hanging plant replaced. Bought succulents yesterday. Don't have to worry about watering that. It's going to be nice and simple. And they spread too, so it'll really fill out in this area with the rock real pretty. And these colors match the house well. Nice soft colors. This is really custom work right here. This is beautiful. This border done like this and the rocks coming in you're gonna see all the contrasting colors and different plants it's gonna be beautiful not rushed nice and slow getting it done right Just want to take a little stroll. We're not done, but I want to walk this through. So this started out, this was a mess. All of this is new. The rocks, the border, the sod, St. Augustine sod. This little poem here. All of this we put in. We've got fabric in here and pins to secure so there won't be weeds coming through. Texas sage, blue delphinium. Got our beautiful new flowers hanging, geraniums. Sylvester palms, diamond cut. Created this beautiful shape. This is our designing that we did. It really took time to 
come up with a plan to get all these curves and everything thought through so everything would flow. This area was just overgrown weeds and now it's a beautiful entryway focal point. Finally got this area cleaned out. Put some gravel in between these stones to make this walkway pop. We'll have an area in there where we gonna level that all out. Put some stepping stones in there. So when you're showering, you got a flat surface to stand on. Then you continue on walking. So pass. It's gonna be straw over here. And we enter the beautiful yard. Custom bed out here with succulents, beautiful succulents. Everything custom. It's beautiful. Beautiful walkway. Nice tropical feel. And we're gonna go here. It's gonna be the last real focal point back here where they lounge at. Thinking about putting a water fountain over there in that corner. Got a nice area, custom design. Whiskey landscape. Starting to get the design locked in. We use this fence in the front porch just to save it. Oh man, can't beat it. This really set the tone and the vibe back here. I'm very proud of this. Everything is really artistic inspiring relaxing neat little water feature here this leads to the pathway on this side of the house we fill in all this here with rock once this fabric gets secured and all along the sides here is going to be pine straw going with a natural look. I've done a few videos on this pathway, but this one is to show how tedious this work is. He has to cut out each stone, shape the fabric around it, pin it. And before we even got to that point, he wanted to really make sure each one of these stones was perfectly set. So he had to really dig with a shovel to make sure that when you walk on them, they're very level. They're not moving around when you're walking on the path. Make sure it's really done perfectly the way it's supposed to, not just thrown on the ground. The straw makes this look amazing. You can really start to see it. the outdoor shower we're about to do the floor in this area and extend it into the path it's putting down fabric and stones right now and then we'll fill it with rock this is our final day on the job we're just a few hours away from being completely finished just cut the grass he's blowing most of the pathway is done walkway on the side. We've got some little areas we're going to finish up. Straw has been put out. Still putting some stone in the walkway. Property is completed. This is a two and a half week job.
green straw lined on both sides of the house. Sod is looking good.